So setting up a button circuit on our Arduino can be a little confusing sometimes because buttons, like you'd think, man, it's just a button. This should be easy, right? But um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes buttons confuse the heck out of me. So this is a momentary bush button, right? You press it and then it like pops back up. I don't know if you can hear. I'll try to see it. It's got a little clicking noise to it that's actually a uh, really nice clicking noise. Anyway, uh, so a button, when when you press a momentary push button, it like uh, it connects two sides in a circuit. So you got, you know, let's say this is one side of the circuit and here's the other, you know, and just pretend like this goes off and does stuff and this goes off and does stuff. And when you press a button, it's like you're, uh, you know, you're pressing down, like your fingers, like right here, you're like, psh, and then it connects that when you press the button. And now this circuit is connected and, uh, you know, it's a button. All right. So right now, like normally on this button, these sides are not connected. So the circuit here, the circuit is uh, open, right? But when you press the button, that's what closes the circuit. Okay. So back to these momentary push buttons that can be a little bit confusing. Um, in this drawing, this button's got like two sides, right? There's this side over here. You know, we'll just call it like, I don't know, side A. And then we got this side over here, call it like side B, right? Well, when you look at a button like this, this button, what's up? It's got four little metal prong things sticking out of it. Like, what gives? I just want two because I got two sides, you know, like A and B. Where's my A and B? Well, what's tricky about these little suckers, and not all, you know, momentary push buttons are like this, but a lot of them are, is uh, these are actually, there are actually two sides. Um, so, like, for this one, this little prong right here and that little prong, it's actually the same piece of metal. If you like rip this case open, they're connected. So that's one continuous piece of metal. So in this case, a little stinker there. In this case, this one would be side B. And then this, these two prongs right there, that prong and that prong, those are connected too. And so that would be your side A. So that's like literally the same little piece of metal in there and in here it's the same piece of metal. So when you press the button, it connects this side to this side. All right, so here's a button. You press it and it connects, you know, the A side to the B side. All right, so now we're talking about setting up this circuit, right? In a, in an Arduino, a button circuit. Like you want to press a button and you want something to happen, right? Okay. So, uh, you know, there's lots of different ways to do it, but um, so here's one way to do it, right? Let's say we want to press a button, and when you press the button, it's going to apply high voltage to some pin on your Arduino. So let's say this is, you got your pin over here. Here's my pin. And then uh, your high voltage, we're going to say that's the 5 volt pin on your Arduino, right? So we got this pin right here on your Arduino. We'll, let's just give it a number. We'll call it pin five. And then this is the five volt pin on the power bus on the Arduino. All right. So I'm going to connect a wire from this side to five volts. And I'm going to connect my pin here. All right, so, all right, it should be looking kind of familiar so far, right? So now I got five volts, but it's not touching pin five, right? Because I'm not pressing the button. When I press the button, now pin five sees that five volts. Now here's the deal though. What's pin five, what's going on at pin five when we're not pressing the button? Like is the voltage here high? Is it low? It's like we don't know. You know, it's called floating. So right now, pin five is floating. Um, so what we can do is uh, make this pin five always be at ground unless we're pressing the button and then we're introducing the five volts. All right. So to do that, we want to take a resistor on this, this side and we want to take it to ground on the Arduino, like one of those ground pins. It's the lowest voltage on the board. 
All right, so now, and we'll, we'll make this uh, 10K is a very common resistor. This is called a, a pull down resistor because we're pulling down pin five to ground. Now, are we pulling down to pin five to ground when we press a button? No, because uh, pin five is connected to ground all the time, right? Like the button doesn't have any effect on that being pulled down there. But when we press a button, we're introducing the five volts and then the current can flow and then this is going to see the high voltage at pin five. All right. So uh, I hope this helps explain a little bit um, what's going on here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that helps a little bit with setting up the uh, button pin.